All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Muddy River Catfishing. So a while back, I did a video called Where to Find Catfish on a River. And a few of you guys were having a little bit of uh, trouble understanding my explanation of, of the holes and the current and how to read it. So what I'm going to do is a pretty much hands-on demonstration so you can actually see the water depth and pertaining to the holes and the shallow parts and how to tell it all apart from each other when you see it yourself so let's go ahead and get started on that demonstration I'll show you what's going on okay so here I am uh, at the Rio Grande just any given place but I want you to pay attention to the water this water right here it's real choppy looking and that's because it's really shallow. As you look further over there, you can see the change in color. And that's because it's deeper over there. It runs along here. And it gets faster. And it creates an eddy. Or a swirl of water back there. Okay, and that's going to be pretty deep too. Now the water cuts across here. Gradually. And you can see the water changing color again. And that's because it got deep. So you see that smooth water face? That's deep. And the transition where it's choppy to smooth is where it's going to get deep. So let me show you that real quick. All right, so here where the choppy water is, I mean, obviously, I'm maybe a foot, a foot deep. So as I walk to where that transition line is, you can see it right here, this choppy water, it's gonna meet the smooth-faced water going to drop off right here. Look at how deep it is. It's about four foot deep right here. And this is the beginning of the hole where you would want to fish. And it goes on down until the current starts to go around that side again. So this is where the transition is right here and you can see it just by looking at the surface of the water you could tell the difference okay same thing in this scenario obviously the water's on it's very choppy so that means it's gonna stay fairly shallow until you get to the smooth water over there and then it'll get deeper. So let me show you that. All right guys, so that's my little demonstration. So if you're looking at rough choppy water, fast moving, it's odds are it's gonna be shallow. When you get to smooth faced or swirling pools, it's gonna be deep. When I was over there, I, first couple of times I couldn't touch the bottom, and second, second or third time I, it was about eight foot deep where I touched finally. And then I swam out and came across. So. All you have to do, look for the smooth faces and the swirling water, that's where your hole's gonna be. 
and you'll see that S pattern going across the river because it's smooth face. That's where the deeper part is. That's where your channel is going to be. Where that channel hits the bank, that's where the deepest hole is going to be on your river. So hopefully this demonstration gives you a better understanding. Thank you for watching. You guys take care. We'll see you next time.